Brighton has several small theatres, proper pub theatres, each seating about 60 people. Yep, fine. Okay. Uh, so we're, we're here in Brighton, we're talking to Gary Blair and to James Weiss um, about their plans for Emporium, the new theatre that they're going to open in Brighton in a couple of months' time. Uh, perhaps we could start by, um, and we apologise for the seagulls if they come in in between, uh, maybe we can start um, asking um, James just to tell us a little bit about your experience in the theatre and the rest. Okay, and well I've, I've worked in theatre for 13 years, uh, firstly as uh, an, an actor and a, an assistant stage manager uh, and then I moved on to um, stage management and uh, working more backstage uh, and then over the past four years I've worked uh, producing direct, which I've really enjoyed. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the in the past couple of years, uh, uh, as a tour booker for regional uh, regional companies touring their work, Gary, a bit yes. about your experience. Well, my experience, uh, I have a background in theatre and film as well, and that's I trained as an actor and then worked professionally as an actor for about ten years on and off. Then moved into design and directing and producing. And in recent years I've moved away from that and uh, I have had my own coffee shop and bar bistro and so I've had a lot of experience in catering and in bar work. Mm -hmm. And now it's time to go back to theatre and do it the way I think it should be done. Okay. And those experiences that you've had um, outside of the theatre um, will come in, will stand you in good stead, won't they? Because Absolutely, because I think the my observation is that the reason a lot of theatres are not as successful as they could be is that they don't operate as fully self-sustaining businesses as such. There's that they um, don't all have several profit centres within the same building that can generate income and profit. And if they do have cafes or restaurants or bars, very often they're franchised out or very often they're Opening times are limited, aren't they? You'll go you somewhere. Get a, you can't get a drink after the show. What is the basic formula that makes them successful and how you make sure that they are generating the income and the profit, more importantly, that will keep the whole building running so that the theatre is kind of protected? That's okay, so. Yeah. It, it's that you've got a confluence of both your experiences now that have just come together at the right time, and your and you've you after a lot of looking, I think, have found the ideal situation, building, whatever. Can you tell us a little bit about what you've found and what and what is going to be the centre of, of the theatre? Wow, um, we've found a, a a very very large church. One of Brighton's two main shopping centres, and it's actually the area of Brighton that this year and next year is going through the biggest injection of capital and attention from the council in terms of making, having a resurgence and a regeneration. There are a lot of schemes going on in that area, aren't they, that will make the area even more popular. Yeah. The um, right, it's, it's become very clear about how um, passionate you two, I hate using passionate, but it's <coughs> right in this case, um, and excited you are about this, um, but in a business-like and professional way. Um, but I, I think one of the things that I know about it, and you can tell me about, um, is the people that you're surrounding yourselves with, so that you're not doing everything yourselves. No. So tell me a bit about, about your it, team. It was really important, wasn't it, that we found that and we've been working on the find the best people for, for the 
for the right job. So if I'm, if I'm which Branson yeah. said, <laughs> that was completely wrong. Was it? <laughs> Richard Branson says something about find people who can I do it better than do you, better than you, and then and get out of their way. Leave. We, we can do what we can do. We have the knowledge that we have. We have the skills that we have and the experience that we have. We don't know everything. And to make this work as successfully as it needs to work and financially as well as it needs to work, everybody needs to know exactly what they're doing. So it's partly a, part of our job is, is surrounding ourselves with the best people we can find. So we have a team of excellent accountants who are geared towards working with the entertainment. A technical manager who installed the dome here, which is one of the largest performing spaces in Brighton. We have an excellent education coordinator who has over 15 years working in schools and with youth groups. And that's happening a lot. And then those people in turn will be part of the process of recruiting the people who will be working on the ground.